Um, yeah, I mean, I want to talk a little bit about CSGO mm-hmm. because obviously that's kind of like, you know, I mean, that's pretty much been the main focus of your mm-hmm. uh, career. Uh, we talked earlier about like whether you thought that they would come up with a new game uh, soon. I've kind of been hoping that like maybe next year or something, something would come out, but you're thinking that they won't have make one for like a long time. Yeah, um, I mean, it all depends. Like right now they're putting a lot of work into CSGO. Mm-hmm. And I think with these newer style games that build so much outside of the game, like they have the skins, you mm-hmm. know, and they have so many things. Uh, around revolving CSGO, I mm. don't think they could just, you know, drop it and just make a new game. Yeah, because I guess everyone would get really mad if they made a new game and yeah. their skins were basically worth mm-hmm. nothing. Yeah. And well, surely you could, like, transfer them over, right? Yeah, cool. that's that's been something I've been thinking about. Maybe they do something, like, where the skins are, like, interchangeable between the games or something like that. But mm. I think that would also... I, I don't know, actually. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind having another Counter-Strike. I think that would be really fun. Like, the upgrade from 1.6 to CSS mm. or CSS to CSGO, those were amazing. Yeah. But I, I think they've kind of built it too big to be able to just drop it like they did in the past mm. and then move on to another game. Yeah. But I'm not sure. Yeah, mm. it would also have to be on par with CSGO and newer games that are being released. Like, if they yeah. just add something yeah. that's not mm. up to par with, like, current games, yeah. no one's going to transfer. And, and CSGO got kind of lucky in how big they yeah. became because CSGO was around a long time before it really blew up. And yeah. then, you know, the cases and the skins kind of put them in the in the spotlight and mm. then they grew really big. And now, uh, can they do that again? Like, yeah, exactly. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting because I feel like CSGO is one of those games that like just never really gets old like it's so yeah. like it is an old game now mm-hmm. it's, how long been out for what Six? 2012 i think or 2011 yeah. the first version came so out yeah. it's yes. just it's so basic yeah. and so well refined mm. at its core that uh it doesn't really date itself yeah the only mm. thing that dates it is the graphics and that doesn't really matter when you're playing it. Yeah. Even those are good. Even yeah. then, they always updated. They have new models and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the same like CS 1.6. I mean, there's still tournaments going on for 1.6. There's still players who... It's crazy to think about. Like, yeah, yeah. And that's such an old game. Mm-hmm. It's just CS games in general kind of are timeless because they, they, they never really grow old. It's a staple, right? Yeah, the, exactly. Yeah. So you, uh, you obviously played 1.6 in Source mm-hmm. like right the way through. Yeah. Um, I remember I had my first like laptop and I was playing 1.6 and then I found out about CSS and I installed it and my mind was blown because mm. I was like, the graphics are insane. <laughs> like, it's such an upgrade. Yeah, yeah you do? I, I remember, yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> 1.6 was, I mean, you look back at that game now and it looks so dated, mm-hmm. but yeah. like, it was good times. But when Source came out, it was like, wow, this mm-hmm. is... Yeah, that's such an upgrade. It's crazy. Um, Papa Normally, did you uh, do much gaming at all or are you pretty <clears> much <throat> just... Yeah, um, well, I played... Duke Nukem. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my um, dad also did. Ah, yeah. My dad's a big fan of Duke Nukem. <laughs> what is it called? Uh, Doom and all those. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. GTA, the mm. first, uh, mm. first yeah. batch. <laughs> That's actually how I got into gaming. I remember yeah. like the first game that I played. I was how old? Like three years old. And I was sitting in my dad's lap. Mm. And uh, he was playing GTA, like the first one, you know, the top down <laughs> game. Yeah, yes. I remember it's a funny story, actually. Whenever he'd like kill someone or run someone over, he'd always say that they were carrying a like a, a bot- bottle of uh, strawberry jam and that they dropped them. Because you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was three years old, he couldn't say, like, yeah, I ran him over. Yeah. Kill that, kill that guy. Yeah. 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 Damn, fuck him up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, so you're like, you know, you know, kind of supported the gaming like the whole way through then. I yeah. Guess. Mm. Mm-hmm. My, my biggest gaming partner when I was a kid was always my dad. We'd be playing, you know, PlayStation yeah, cool. or Xbox awesome. or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very lonely child. <laughs> <laughs> gaming is the way to go. I mean, look at you now. Gaming's your whole career. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It worked out, thankfully. Yeah.